Welcome to the channel guys, it's your boy Savior from Celebvision and I'm back again with another video, another video today and guys I'll be doing a completely different video today and um, what I want to talk about today is briefly how my film camera arrived today and it came with a film as well, so there's a Kodak Ultra Max which just came today and um, big up to the film camera store for sorting me out quick service came in very good condition mint condition so you guys definitely check out the instagram page which is now appearing in the video but also i'll put a link in the description for the website as well in case you don't use instagram to, and um, just want to show you this camera really it's a canon sure shot telemax and i just want to tell you a little brief summary about the camera the canon sure shot telemax was is originally from japan the Autoboy Mini T was a September 1991 model from Canon's very successful Sure Shot range. It's a, you know it's a point and shoot camera. It has a compact 35 milliliter camera with autofocus. The autofocus is here and a twin lens. Look. What happened to it? It was working like earlier on. But yeah, anyways, what I want to say is about the autofocus and it's a twin lens and the lens let this on the face of the body, the left hand fingers fall naturally in this area making it easy to adjust and the shutter release button is rubberized, a window is on the film back as a reminder of the type of film loaded there's also a tripod socket on the base located off centre of the flash side of the body so yeah, here's the flash as you can see here this is where the um, film goes. This is where you put the battery in. Okay, so let's open up this part here. As you can see, this is where the film goes inside. So this is where I'll put my Kodak Ultra Max in here. So yeah, guys, I can't wait to shoot with this camera. Uh, as you guys must be aware, I also do digital photography uh, with my DSLR, my Canon 200D. I initially started off photography in September 2018, so it's been almost two years now. And I've been all over the, like, I've been to like four countries within the last year, Portugal, Spain, Hungary, and Germany, using my DSLR. And yeah, it produced me good results, but the issue with uh, DSLRs and digital cameras in general is the, it's the kind of time consuming to get the best possible results the post-production and it can be a nightmare sometimes trying to get the best possible outcome but a film is more of a relaxed look even though you know you have to take take more time actually shooting it you know and you've got to know how the camera works and stuff like that but there's no really no post-production with it you know you just get it in one go either you know if you want to keep it in like a photo album or you could either get it sent to you online via retransfer or something like that, you know. There's an option for that as well. And, um, you know, I can't wait because a lot of my friends have been using film photography for a long time and they're getting very good results from it. You know, something completely different to use. And as a photographer, you need to get out your comfort zone and use both digital and film, um, you know, to produce the best possible results on your portfolio. portfolio. And there's a good, good way of doing that. And you know, it's very good size as well, pocket size, you know, it's easy to carry around. The issue, even if traveling or like, even going on a day trip for me to going into London to take some photos, it's so much easier to carry around rather than bringing a, uh, you know, a bag of like a camera in and stuff like that, which can be annoying at times, so I can't wait to use this. But yeah, guys, I'm going to be using this within the next couple of weeks. 
and I'll do a separate video explaining, you know, tips and stuff like that, and also my results from using this with this um, film here. I know it's not the best film, the Kodak Ultra Max. A lot of people have been talking about the Kodak Portra 400 and you know Kodak Gold and stuff like that. But it's a starting point for me. Having not been used, having not used film cameras before, it's a starting point for me. So yeah, I can't wait to do it. But yeah, by the way, guys, I'm gonna have my clothing brand released soon. A few samples are coming this week, so I can't wait to shoot with them with this. You know, get a few friends to wear my clothes and also myself wearing it to see what the results are like. Especially with this film camera, we'll give it like an extra edge to it. Like in there, you know, that nice grainy look, you know. The good thing is that with film cameras, you know, for example, if you're using the Kodak Portra 400, you can go a couple stops over and the results will still look good. So that's why I can't wait to use. But anyways, guys, you know, make sure you do subscribe to the channel We're on the road to 1K. I'm going to be start doing more photography videos now since lockdown is over. So I really appreciate you guys following me so far on this journey. And yeah, can't wait to use this camera and start showing you the results, you know, within the next couple of weeks. And obviously, you know, I really can't wait because I'm a very quick learner. You know, I haven't done photography for, time, for a long time. You know, I'm not a photography expert or photography guru. You know, I'm just trying to, you know, learn myself, learn from other people. You gotta be willing to learn, take your time out, you know, to study and stuff like that. And study like the angles and things like that, different methods of shooting, especially with, you know, film photography, you know. Because this camera can be quite loud. I heard it's quite loud too, you know, especially in the busy, busy streets. If you're on a busy street, it can be loud. And if you're, for example, trying to take a picture of someone, you know, you gotta be quick. You know, I watched um, a few videos on certain methods you can use. But the good thing about these cameras is that even though they're loud, you know, you know, you can rewind the film after. You just quickly take the picture and then walk on and rewind it, so it's not much stress really. So I can't wait to see you guys. I can't wait to show you guys the results of this and um, make sure you keep posted. See you guys in the next clip whenever I release this video. Peace.